All right, happy Sunday, friends. So today I have another melting basket. Okay, so a few things. I literally, so I don't, I want to tell you a little story. I'll put a timestamp in this for you. So when my kids, we have, we've had seven kids. One's in college, one is in heaven, and we have five kids in our home. So since I had my daughter, it was six years between my two kids because I was finishing nursing school. And um, so she was kind of an only child. And then I had seven babies in a short amount of time. And so we've always done these single dates that my kids can work for. But then when it's back to school time, I take each kid um, individually on a date. They get to, we buy shoes, clothes, school supplies. I do for a Walmart order now because it's just too chaotic. And it just made my anxiety crazy with five kids pulling and grabbing. And it was just crazy. So I just do that through Walmart. And then we go to lunch and as much time as they need or want, we are gone. And now as they've gotten older, they can pick who they wanna go with. So last year I got three of the five who picked me and two picked my husband. So now I've done my youngest, Samuel, today, yesterday I did my second youngest, Elizabeth. And then I have Elijah, Noah, and Zachary who are left. So within the next week or two weeks, just before school, we try to get it done. Um, just because those shoes are a big thing. So we'll see who else gets picked. So yesterday I had sushi, sushi for lunch and today I had sushi for lunch. It was quite a bit of sushi. Um, but my kids get to order what they want on the menu, so it's a big deal. And then after I came back, I had to cut two of the toy poodles hair because they were so matted because... I thought it would be cute to let them grow their hair out and then it was just a matted mess so I had to go straight down to super 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 short so anyway um, and I've been going through some things with my anxiety obviously and trying to figure out how to regulate that and even going to take my kids was a little mind game but I just have to overcome it right okay so now let's get into what you came for let's get into my melting pad Okay, Sweet Dreams by L3. This is a beautiful teal, is it? I mean, aqua maybe, okay. This is gor a gorgeous smell. I do this at bedtime. Oh, it's just such a good one. It's cotton candy frosting, sweet lavender, jet puff marshmallows. I would request this. I would like it in a loaf next when I finish it. I'm trying to be good about not over ordering, you know, but it's still hard, okay. So L3. Ooh, let's go through Swanky. So I put a post up on the Lighten Your Stash Wax um, what, Facebook page and asked if somebody was willing to part with the glitter artery, which you saw, and then the Swanky. And somebody actually parted with this. So this is Buttery Toast and Jam Strawberry Pound Cake. So I'm totally confused on what this, so it's strawberry pound cake with buttery toast and jam. So that's like, I think she does a lot with that though. To me, this smells like, like something I already own. No, I know what it is. It is Salt Mountain's Backyard Bash or something. It's one of the pretzel ones. Yeah, it does. It smells like it. It's so good. It, it threw beautifully. I have no complaints. So it was good. So I was thankful that I was able to get this and try it out. So I was pleased with what I got. An empty, look at this. This is Savannah Blue. This was Ultimate Cherry Loaf. It's Cherry Brazilian Heartbreaker Sugar Rush. Now, I have a love-hate with Savannah Blue because this one smelled like cough syrup. It was terrible. So I don't know what she uses in this one, but it is not good. I, no, it just isn't. This was poured in February, and I also had like quite a bit left. I, I mean, I filled my warmers because I just wanted to get rid of it. So it's just not a favorite of mine. I wouldn't repurchase that. Now here's one I like, okay? This, I just, her fizzy blends work well for me, okay? And I, she just had a pre-order, I think that closes today, for loaves, and I ordered off of Nicole Perry's recommendation, I ordered candy petals. Don't worry, I won't be upset if I don't love it. I'll still warm it. And then I got Ursula, okay? This I love. It's Salty Sierra, lavender, fresh cut grass with a speck of garden dirt. 
This I put in my warmer because I'm like, okay, if I don't love this, then I won't do her pre-order. And I really wanted to try that one Nicole Perry had said she really liked. But I was like, oh, it's like cotton candy, wood smoke, and something pink chiffon, I think, is the candy petals that Nicole recommended. And then this one I had. So I put this in my warmer on Saturday. It is Sunday. I smelt it all day Saturday and it does smell like salty air, but this, it's such a unique blend. And then you get a slight bit of the dirt and I love it. I'm here for it. You know what it reminds me of? A rain shower at the beach. That's what I've decided. It's so, it makes me happy because it just, it just brings you back to those memories. So for me, this is a win. I really have tried different blends from different companies, but you know what, I'm okay. I'm, I'm happy that I have success with some of her blends. So this is one that I just, it threw until I took it out this afternoon. I could still smell it in my warmers, but I was like, okay, I wanted to try something else, which you'll see. So I did take it out of my warmers, but I could still smell it. And I left the warmers going for, I never turned them off from Saturday morning until this afternoon. The warmers were on even at night this thing through like a beast so i hope and pray that my pre-order that i get is the same and it throws like this and it smells the same because this is phenomenal very unique blend loved it another empty was white elephant exchange sweet lavender these were the little remember she did like the 20 sample muffins or something they're not very big they're about this big um, so this was good. I put it in my bedroom and bathroom last night and it was great. I took it out obviously. Oh no. Friday night. And then I put in the Ursula. So this was Friday night. So anyway, great. Smelled fabulous. Okay. This is the one I took out today when I took Ursula out. I put in the graduation. Now to me, this almost smells like satin sheets from Scentsy. Even smelling it like this, it kind of does to me. But I will say it's not super strong as like satin sheets is. So this one I had in my club. It'll be out of my club. I just, to my nose, it really smells like satin sheets. I don't know what the scent notes are because Scentsy doesn't put them on there. And that's a big complaint of mine. I don't know why it's so hard. Okay. Cherry almond pie. This is my favorite bakery. Now I will tell you and I'll warn you, this throws super well for about eight hours. And then it's like, so not the longest of Scentsy's. But it's phenomenal, and it was in the Bring Back My Bar voting, which ended on Friday. We found out the top three, I believe it was, which is Grape Granita, Linger, and, no, Shimmer. Grape Granita, Shimmer, I don't know what the other one is. Anyway, gosh, what is the other one? I know I've had it, oh! Blueberry Rush, I think. Blueberry Rush, Grape Granita, and Shimmer. Hopefully I can say that they shared it. So anyway, this was in the voting. I voted for this. I'm hoping we find out. We're not supposed to find out till like August 16th if this will be back. I hope it does. I love it. Okay, I warm this at bedtime. This is the Melted Mousse Lavender Milkshake. It's very, very good. It's lavender, vanilla, cotton candy, ice cream. Love that one. It was a little... I think it was like my second or third order from her. I finished up Island Paradise from Rose Girl. It's good, just not a favorite, so I won't repurchase that scent, but I did enjoy it. Here's another one I was trying to recreate because I like Ursula, so I was thinking Dirt Nap would be similar. It's not, It's it's got a little bit of a minty hint in it, and I smell more of that than I do um, a little bit of dirt, so it's good. It's earthy, but it's not quite what I was looking for. That's why I rewarmed the Ursula and I ordered it. This is good though, I like it. And it could cure a little longer. It was only from like April or May. No, I just got that. So I think that was like in July, I just got it. So it probably needs way more time to cure. Melted mousse, watermelon sugar high. I did an Instagram lapse. If you didn't see my wax lap, this was on there. I try to do those every day. Uh, watermelon candy, sweet strawberry, pink sugar, marshmallow fluff. This is really good. Mmm, so good. Oh, gosh, it's just a good watermelon. Yummy. And I love the colors because I love pink.
pink, watermelon colors, pink and green. Okay, lime, I should say, not green. Okay, uh, Empire Alchemy Sway with me. This is one of my favorite favorites. So good. It is rum soaked pineapple upside down cake, brown sugar, angel food cake, fresh mango, hint dos de leche. So good. Love that scent. I finished Surf Shop from Zape. I couldn't smell this one. I think I had like three left in it from last week, so I wanted to finish it in this video, for this video. It wasn't strong enough for me, I couldn't really smell it. Ferris wheel from, is it Lured Apothecary? Uh, this is good, it's fried sweets, red vines, vanilla ice cream, really good. I did an Instagram on that one too. Sensi sweet plum pastry, I warmed this because I love this. I just want, it's, this honestly, tell me if this reminds you of winterberry apple tea, because to me it really does. I don't know why, but gosh, they're similar. They're like cousins. It's good. I, I think they're, literally, I think they're, wasn't Elvis Presley like kissing cousins? I finished the other one. This is from, I mean, I have this in my club, so this is from like the fall. Can someone tell me how come they get so stained? I don't get it. Anyway. Oh no, one of these, this is an, one of these, this is an older, this is an older one. So this must be, a, um, I got this from a friend before it came out. So that must be like a couple of years old. Okay, I'm almost done. Sugar Mouse by Stacey, watermelon cake, phenomenal, throws great. This was from her last pre-order. She is closing today. Oh shoot, it's probably already done. She had a pre custom pre-order. Vivian, thank you so much for tagging me on that. Because what if I wouldn't have seen it? Because I have, when I go on these dates with my kids and they're for like four hours, I don't go on Facebook. I stay off of my phone except to take pictures of my cute little kids. So I wouldn't, have, I, if I would have missed that, I'd have been so sad. So I did order, she had five. You could pick souffles or loaves and five max. And I picked all five <laughs> loaves because I love her stuff. This is watermelon cake. I love it and speaking of my other favorite from her is peach ice cream i'm almost done with this loaf i mean i think i've only finished like one from l3 from a loaf so far and did i finish i think that's it like i'm working on a lot of other loaves but this is going to be gone soon peach ice cream i have three other loaves because i found two more or stacy two sold me two more and then I bought one from the D Stash group. This is literally smells like peach cobbler out of the oven. It's phenomenal. If you love peach, this is the most amazing peach I have smelled. So good. Okay. Oh, okay. So I only put this in here because I wanted to show you this. This is from Sassy Wax Melts. No, she opens back up September 1st, I believe. This is Mondovi Fair. This is a custom. And I took off the two pieces, the embellishments, and I did a lapse video, but it smelled super great when I was doing it, so I was pleased with it. But I do those in tea lights, so obviously that's a little skewed because it's hot heat. Okay, um, Super Tarts, Fake and Bake. I love this. My husband did not like this. <laughs> I put it in today in my main area, and he did not like this. It's zucchini bread, sugar, sweet cream. Yeah, he wasn't a fan. I think it's fabulous. He doesn't usually say anything. The only time he said anything was about the peach ice cream for, from Sugar Melts by Stacy, And that was the only scent he's ever loved besides Scentsy's like pedal pushers or something. Spring Forward from the Bring Back My Bar, which is in my club now because they're floral and he apparently likes floral too. Blah. Okay, Britta's Sweet Dreams, Lavender Pink Sugar Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Great. Honestly, some of these scents all smell the same like this one and sweet dreams are pretty close that's kind of what i find with these lavender yeah they're pretty close uh it's just if oh, i order from a lot of vendors i'm guessing a lot of people don't so if you're not that person who's like oh i'm ordering from 15 vendor vendors like this crazy lady charity is you might not have that problem but it's like I find a lot of my scents, like in the lavender aspect, they kind of smell the same. I mean, it's lavender. Okay, Rose Girl, Crackling, Birch, Fluff, Puffs. Ah, this is my favorite. I just, you can smell it through the bag. I warm this. I love this. It's phenomenal. I want to eat this, and it's not like, it's just, it is Crackling, Birch, Monster Cookie, Marshmallow Smoothie. I mean, can you understand why I kind of want to eat it? 
it just smells so good. I just, I love it. It reminds me of having a fire dawn with my son before he passed away. And like I said, that was very soothing for him. He liked being outside. He liked being by the fire. So to me, this just brings back a great memory of just being down there in this summer. The more I've been out there, I've really noticed it because I started getting into vendor wax in this winter. And being outside this summer, it's just really made me realize like those kind of scent memories are real and they're good to have, right? Okay. All right. Then Ava's Country Covered. It's Coffee House Crunch. Freshly brewed coffee, vanilla, and crunchy caramel bits. This is the one I told you that the skunk had to get out of it because it's it tends to be skunky when you stick your nose in it. It is very good warm. It's very strong. It's not my favorite coffee blend, but it's great. It's strong. I'm sure my husband would like this if I did this while he was here. It's really good. I just it's very strong. And you know, some scents you really love, and like others, you're like, oh no. Okay, another bedtime blend is Sassy Girl Aroma, which is pink sleepy time, which is pink sugar, lavender, spearmint, chamomile. Now, my husband's allergies were bothering him. And because this one is a lot stronger with the spearmint and the chamomile, I thought this would probably be good to. I asked him if I could turn the diffuser on and put in Breathe, and he didn't want my diffuser, and I'm he's crazy because I love my doTERRA oils and it helps with breathing whatever I'm a big believer of that and I have like a breeze stick and he won't put anything on so I was like okay I'm gonna be sly and I'm gonna put this in when he's sleeping so that way let's see if it helps and he just needed to get back on his allergy medicine because he's been outside cutting trees down in the orchard that are dead and he's been he weed whacked around all of our like 300 apple trees so his poor allergies were terrible and yes they're allergies because he took his medicine for two days and now he's has I mean, and it was just his normal allergy symptoms. He has bad allergies. And I have like hassled him for years. Just take your allergy medicine. That way it's not an issue. But you know, he's he's a guy. Okay, so that's what I wore him through. And I just want to say welcome if you're new. And I want to say thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting if you do. I know commenting can be hard because sometimes it's like, what do you say? Because I try to comment on people's videos just because I feel like I love watching videos when I'm getting ready. Like if I'm trimming my dog's hair, I turn on a video. I like watching them. And it's also, I like watching the um, weekly baskets because it's everybody does mini reviews. And so I think that's where you're going to get most of it. I should really change my name of my baskets because I think everybody calls them their empties. And I call it my melting basket for the week. Which would be opposite, right? Because if I picked it and showed it to you weekly, I think that's kind of what the theme is. I don't generally do things the right way sometimes, or I just tend to do things the way I feel like they should be. <laughs> so it doesn't, I don't know, I just don't, I tend to go to the beat of my own drum. So anyway, my anxiety has been really odd for me, and I don't like it, and it's really causing... Um, you know, distress in my life. And if you've never read this book, it's called The Body Keeps Score. And it talks about how PTSD and trauma from, especially from a childhood or a death or a trauma or war or anything like that, like severe traumas that they can cause like actual symptoms in you, like not just anxiety or panic attacks. So like besides panic attacks, sometimes I will just have lots of symptoms and I've done really well with them in the last two years. I used to have like, I would clench my jaw and I would just cry and shake. And I will just say that it doesn't get easier to lose a child. You just learn how to deal with it. And some days you do better and some days you do really bad. And I think I just need to be aware that as school approaches, I think that's what my trigger is because last year the same thing happened and I had to say to myself, oh my gosh, he would have been starting kindergarten. So of course that was my trigger. And I once I like identified it and I talked to God and I told the devil just to leave me alone, I was able to process that and just realize that every time something like that happens, 
it's triggering me in a way because he's not here celebrating these anniversaries and everybody accepts that holidays and birthdays are tough, but they don't remember that there's all kinds of milestones that mess you up. And I am not the same person as I was, whether that's good or bad since he died, because I'm just not the same person. And I wish I could go back to that person, but it's just not me anymore. And there's days that It's just really tough. So anyway, I just, I'm very open and honest about my journey with my postpartum. I had, because my son and I almost died in the year he was born, I suffered with severe postpartum depression, like severe. I just can't tell you the depths of my pain. I never realized that there would be hell on earth, but it was bad. And the second I started feeling better, which thank the Lord I did, he started having seizures and then his health declined. I don't know how I made it through those six months, but I did with friends and my husband. And so I think I've like come out of this last six years just a different person. And sadly, in a lot of ways, it sucks. Um, but in a lot of ways, it's good. So you celebrate the small things. You find joy in the journey. And that's what the kids and I talk a lot about is every day you just have to look for the bright side. And you have to find one small thing that brings you joy. And if you can find one small thing, then the world is worth living for. And God wants you to be here. And he doesn't want us to be sorry or sad. or He doesn't want me to feel this way. It's just me feeling this way. If you're watching this and you're struggling with something in your life, you're not alone. It sucks. The world isn't easy. The world hasn't been easy this last year, but you're not alone and people do care and they do love you. And I just hope that if you are struggling, you seek help, whether that's medication, therapy, God, whatever your faith is, just reach out to someone because life is worth living and it's going to be hard and tough, but it'll get better. <laughs> I always think it has to, right? So... My big thing is finding joy in the journey, and I hope and I pray that you do that today, and I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye, guys.